Let's call the meeting to order. I stand for Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Item three, adoption of the agenda. Romano adopts the agenda. Support. Support. All in favor? Aye. 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 Item number four, public participation. The first opportunity for public participation is anyone wish to speak on anything that's on the agenda. You'll have an opportunity later in the meeting to speak on any item. Anyone from the public regarding the agenda item? One more time. If not, we're closed public participation. Item number five, public service committee meeting department recommendation. We got a resolution 2024-122646. Resolution to approve the Brownfield plan on Gratiot Avenue, Richmond, for the County of Macomb pursuit two and in accordance with the provisions of Act 381 of the Public Act of the State of Michigan of 1996 as amended. Vicki? Can you give us some update? Chair, I'll make the motion to refer to full board. Support. Good afternoon, commissioners. Um, as you know, we oversee the Macomb County Brownfield Redevelopment Authority. Excuse me, I, don't, I believe the mic's not on. I don't see the red light. No, it's down below. Maybe I just need to move it a Is little it bit closer. Okay. Thank Is that you. better? Loud. All right. All right. <laughs> so with speaking. me today, I've got Amanda Minato. She is our project director who helps oversee a lot of our community development projects as well as the Brownfield. So she'll be specifically speaking to this project. Thank you, Vicki. Good afternoon, commissioners. <clears throat> yeah, so we have two Brownfield plans before you today. Um, the first one is in the city of Richmond. And um, this Brownfield site is taking place at a former gas station property that had been vacant for over 10 years. Um, there is uh, contamination from leaking underground storage tanks which will require soil removal and also asbestos uh, remediation in some existing structures. Um, the proposed use for the site is a 2,000 square foot uh, Wendy's restaurant which would bring approximately 30 to 40 new jobs to the area and the eligible brownfield um, reimbursement costs are approximately $160,000 and the tax capture would take place over a seven year period. Um, the site plan has been approved by the City of Richmond. The Brownfield resolution was presented to the City of Richmond and approved, and the Macomb County Brownfield Redevelopment Authority um, received a presentation on the project yesterday and recommended approval to the Macomb County Board of Commissioners as well. So I'm happy to answer any questions um, regarding the project, um, but we do think it will be a good use for the site. As I mentioned, it's been vacant and contaminated, so this will clean up the property and bring a new um, use to, to the City of Richmond. Commissioner Brown. Thank you. Uh, thank you for working with the City of Richmond. They're, they've got a good organization up there. They've mm -hmm. run a good ship, and, uh, but they can't do it all. And having the county step in and support them in this project, they're very thankful for that, and I am too. And thank you for your staff and the team for working on it. It's an important project. The site's been a blight for a long time, mm -hmm. and uh, looking forward to Wendy's. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Who doesn't love a frosty? <laughs> thank you, Mr. Chairman. Welcome. Any other speakers? If not, please vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you. Item uh, B, resolution 2024-12-243, resolution to approve the Brownfield Plan Lutz Roofing, headquarters located at Hamlin Road, Shelby Township, Michigan, for the County of Macomb, Michigan, amended, amended as amended. Vicki? You need a motion? Yes. I will make the motion. Support and art. Thank you. Yes, Vicki. All right, so this is our second Brownfield resolution. Uh, this one is it for the Township of Shelby, and Amanda will be providing more details on what this project's about. Thanks, Vicki. So this is a vacant parcel that's about 6.4 acres at the corner of Ryan Road and Hamlin in Shelby Township. Um, it's been vacant for over 50 years, and its previous use was a landfill. Um, so it obviously has a high level of contamination. Um, the proposed use is the new location of Lutz Roofing Headquarters, which is uh, currently located in Shelby Township. Um, they're looking to expand their facilities. 
So this would be retaining 150 jobs to Macomb County and the creation of 50 new full-time jobs as well. Um, because it's a, brown, a landfill, there'll be a decent amount of remediation that'll have to take place, including a geotechnical barrier, a vapor mitigation system, um, landscaping, sidewalks put in, really cleaning up the site and making it a good use for the community. Um, it's gonna be $7 million in private investment and the total eligible brownfield costs are about $1.5 million. And this is going to be a longer capture of about over 30 years. Um, it has, of course, been approved by the Shelby Township Planning Commission and by the Shelby Township Board of Trustees and was presented to the Macomb County uh, Brownfield Redevelopment Authority yesterday and recommended approval to the Board of Commissioners. Um, so I'm happy to answer any questions on this one as well. Commissioner Van Sickle. Thank you. So I'm curious. It's a landfill. Yes. Are they going to remove the stuff that's there? No. So in this scenario, um, it's it would be way too expensive to remove all of it. So what they do is, and I'm not, that's why we hire environmental consultants, but from my understanding, they'll be placing this geotechnical barrier similar mm -hmm. to what they do in landfill sites that will keep all of the um, landfill materials secured and then keep anything else from leaching in. And then they'll put soil over top, I believe six inches of clean soil, and then plant grass in certain places. And then what they have is this vapor mitigation system that will run underneath the building and collect all of the methane gas that could be produced. And then it will go up through a chute and be released into the atmosphere so that there won't be any, any you know, explosions or anything like that risking from the methane. And they'll have sensors within the building as well that will be always in place and they'll do monitoring on a yearly basis. So are the they're going to put up some buildings on the site. Yes. Will the buildings be on top of the landfill? Also? Yes. Yep. And that so that's why they'll have that vapor mitigation system, and they'll have um, they'll have these like uh, footings that will go through to make everything structurally sound. Um, and I believe a lot of it should be detailed in the brownfield plan. And we do have a presentation that we could send you as well, which has mm -hmm. more details. But the vapor mitigation system will ensure that all the methane is released in a safe manner. Yeah, so they'll put piles down. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hard. Okay, yep. thank you. No problem. Thank you, Chair. Commissioner Romano. Thank you, Chair. Uh, I'll just go back to Commissioner Van Sickle. There was a landfill at 15 mile. It actually, it was Maple Lane and 14 mile, between 14 and 15 mile, road, which is now called Friendly Outdoor Storage. That was also a landfill, but they... Uh, in order to mitigate some of that, they had uh, pipes put in to release those gases. And as of today, it's very profitable, mm -hmm. doing a lot of stuff. Uh, the question I have is this uh, brownfield. This, you mentioned $1.5 million is coming from where? $9 million is coming from private and $1.5 million is coming from? Yeah, well, it's a $7 million overall investment in the property, including the building and all the different work that will be done. Um, there's $1.5 million in eligible brownfield costs. So that's what will be reimbursed over the 30 years through the tax increment financing. So um, where's the 1.5 million coming from? They're paying for it. And then we reimburse them for those costs. It'd be great for land bank, wouldn't it? Mm. Okay, that's all I have. Thank you. <laughs> no other speakers? Please vote. Uh, Aye. 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 No no's. Ayes have it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's go to item number C. This is a revised uh, cost share agreement, Sterling Heights in Clinton Township, Moravian, from Shaner to Garfield, cost of $6,017,500. $6, and the cost of the county of 2.880. Brian? Make Good a motion. Make a motion. Support. Support Zinner. Oh. Good afternoon, Commissioners. So, yes, uh, this is a privacy uh, scene cost share that I brought before you. Uh, there is a revision. Uh, this is only to add additional non-participating items from both uh, City of Sterling Heights and Clinton <coughs> Township. They had requested to uh, make improvements on their sidewalk uh, system as far as connectivity, and <coughs> Sterling Heights wanted to put an additional mid-block crossing in, which are additional to the project, but will be paid 100% by the community. So this new cost share reflects that. Everything else is identical as far as the charges and the amounts, as far as the job, preliminary engineering. It just shows the two non-participating items, uh, 154,500, 100% Sterling Heights, and 103,000, 100% Clinton Township. So seeking approval of this revised cost share. Brian, question on the sidewalk, is that gonna be just one side? Uh, it's wherever they have sidewalk existing, they want to, uh, connect it. So I don't think it's uh, inclusive of putting on both sides if they don't have it on both sides currently. 
Um, but I can look at the plan and see what they so have I added. Think there's a sidewalk on the north side, and there's a part of a sidewalk on the south side. But they're going to connect it all the way to Garfield. Then I can get you the exact uh, locations that they're looking at adding. Um, I haven't seen that plan. I just know that they have added additional sidewalk per the community's request. But I can get that information to you. Any other questions? Maya. Oh, Uh, filled with potholes, and we've had uh, constituents come here um, complaining about that road. So I'm really glad that this is going to be fixed. If this is a rehab, does that mean it's just going to be resurfaced, or are you guys going like all the way down to the gravel and redoing the whole road? How long that's going to take, and when is it going to commence? It's it's a rehab project. So it's not a total reconstruct. So it's going to be milling, uh, pavement repairs, uh, joint repairs and then uh, full overlay uh, over the existing. Um, and we anticipate to get this project underway uh, this year and construct it this year. All right, thank you. Thank You're you, welcome. Chair. No other speakers? Please vote. Aye. 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 One more. I didn't see your name. I'm Go sorry. Ahead. Thank you. Those Zs are the last, you know. Um, Brian, I, you probably don't have time this year to consider doing that. There's a, sl a s small area Julian and um, I forget the other one where the Julians are in that area there's a dip heading toward Cass if you were coming from Metro Beach um, that's probably not on the headlight yet for Moravian uh, if it's not part of this project I'm not aware of any other uh, yeah. current project this year slated for Moravian yeah, yeah. Maybe eventually that would be communication and obviously coordination between the communities and us yeah uh, so if they have an area or if you have an area that you want to go through the township to request us to look at in conjunction with the community we'd be more than happy to do so thank you thank you chair you're welcome no other commissioners please vote uh, aye. 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 aye thank you commissioner well you might as well stay up there because you're no, he's not. Except anyway. Nothing else. Except anyway, but no, he doesn't look like Brian. <laughs> he doesn't look like Brian. Okay, re resolution D. Resolution D two zero two four one two one four three, pledging limit tax full faith and credit for Oakland Macomb Interceptor Drain District. Brian. Motion to refer to full board. Support Nard. Yes. Mr. Chair, thank you very much, board members. I'm here. Um, the OMID is the Oakland Macomb Interceptor Drainage District. It's a wastewater system. Chair, I'd like to make a motion to move to full board. We did. Yeah. Oh, we did. Thank you. So the OMID uh, handles the sewage of 800,000 uh, customers. 600,000 in uh, Macomb and 200 in Oakland County. Um, affects 11 Macomb communities, 12 Oakland. And um, the OMID has approved two new projects. They're both in Sterling Heights, the odor and corrosion facility projects. One at Dodge Park and Sorrento and one at Dodge Park and Utica Road. So uh, Dodge Park and Utica Road, uh, they replaced that odor and corrosion facility. There's been odor complaints and also the H2S gas and the sewer system corrodes concrete. The Sorrento would be a new odor corrosion um, site, so designed to uh, maintain and prolong the useful life of the pipe that's underground there. So OMID uh, will be issuing bonds for the two projects, and they've worked with Sterling Heights. Sterling Heights is uh, actually approved, BZA approved. It's a, a fake house right on the corner of Dodge Park and Sorrento, which will blend in well with the neighbor, neighborhood. But OMID uh, is issuing bonds, $14 million for the project, and the bonds will be sold with a better bond rating and a lower interest cost for the communities if the county continues to pledge its full faith and credit backstopping the bonds, which they have done in the past. There's no cost to the county uh, by doing so, uh, and this will allow the 11 Macomb communities to save money on the, uh, on the interest rate. So OMID does not have its own bond rating. It relies on Oakland County and Macomb County's bond rating. Oakland County will also be, I think tomorrow, doing the same resolution, and they, as well as uh, Macomb, Macomb, has always backstopped these bonds as well. 
if um, there's never been a default on the bonds by the communities, if there ever was, um, there is language in this uh, resolution that allows the county treasurer to seek um, all actions necessary to collect the payments. But again, the communities have never done that, but that is a fail safe. So with that, uh, I will answer any of your questions if you have. Commissioner Brown? What is the bond rating? The bond rating would be Macombs and Oakland's. So I think you guys what, are double what, A. What, what is, we went out for the bond rating recently. Are we double play plus still? Are, we I think the lost the, or triple I think Macomb County rating. is double A plus, yeah, if so I'm not we mistaken. Lost it. We lost when the city of Detroit went bankrupt through no fault of our own. And um, if, when's the last time you've went out for a bond rating uh, exercise? For the county itself, I don't know. Okay. All right. But this is common that for those new members of the board, the board often backs communities bond because our bond rating is better than theirs. So we save them some money and no one in this county, as he said, is, is defaulted on it. So it's generally good practice and it doesn't cost our taxpayers any money or any money out of our general fund. So um, it's a worthwhile endeavor and I'm glad you pointed it out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Brown. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Romano. You all said, Commissioner? Yes, I'm done. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Um, Brian, uh, you're saying Sterling Heights is involved in this how? Um, the Dodge Park and Sorrento site, they had to get a variance um, to build that fake house, which will blend it more into the neighborhood. So that, um, OMID has gone to the city and coordinated with them, got approval. I think there was a variance, a rear yard variance but presented them the mock-up of what the house would look like. Um, and OMID is also working with the city in terms of the Dodge Park and Utica site. So these are canisters, carbon canisters. There is one now that will be replaced, but is working with the city in terms of their summer activities on when they can do the work. And what are they actually going to do there? What are these, one more time, if you don't mind, the carbon cap. Yeah, have you noticed the one right on Dodge Park and Utica, it's right in the median. At Dodge Park and Utica Road. Yes. yes. So Yes, I'm sorry, now I do. Uh, it's kind right of blended in. Of the park. Yeah, okay. when you walk so, there, you can see it. When you drive, you probably don't even notice couple it. Of, yeah, I see. So do those admit an odor? Those are carbon filters that prevent odors, and it has been doing a great job. So this is a, uh, a new one, brand new one. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't want to put you on the spot. Yeah. Do they admit odors? The sewer- Even with the filters? They do, the old one did. This one is designed to improve that to lessen the odors. It can't be worse. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm sure all of us have gone I past have, these places. I have smelled it. You know, yeah. and, and okay, I just- <laughs> Well, I, I, actually in our office, the mid is, is, as Commissioner Van Sickle knows, we're doing four odor and corrosion facilities across the county. So sewer smell, and when you store flow and then release it, it vents. And these are air scrubbers, and it's better technology. That, that one's got to be, what, 20-some years old. So this is better technology to, number one, prevent the H2S gas from corroding the concrete. But number two is also when the air gets vented to scrub it. And, and so this is the waste smell. material that flows underneath the city, apparently, or in those drains. That's right. It has to have a pressure release somewhere. Does That's that right. sound correct? Yes. So why do they put them in residential areas? I'm just asking. I. It's how the sewer system was developed. I mean, the sewer goes all the way down Utica Road and then down down Dodge Park, and as we know, across 15 Mile. And sorry, I'm off the question. That's all I have. Thanks, Commissioner. Go ahead. <laughs> Come up to my dish. We got pig farms and cow farms up yeah, there. But you're used to that smell. <laughs> yeah, some like it. Commissioner Sabatini. Thank you, Chair. Hey, Brian. Um, $14 million project, how much cash does OMID have on hand? OMID has about $10 million. Of course, yeah. some of that is financing current projects that they're working on. So um, this is a bond that's already in the budget. Actually, the MID just adopted our budget, which includes OMID's costs, and the average increase was 2.8%. Okay. So the I think since Commissioner Miller has been there, it's averaged 2.8% for the last seven years. So. The rates have been pretty, pretty what low. What are bond rates going at right now? What are you estimating it to be at? Um, 
you know, we have a financial advisor doing that. It would probably be in the high threes or fours with the with the backstop. Okay, yeah. great. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner Zenner. Thank you, Chair. Brian, you said there would be a um, the cost. I'm thinking you're saying that's for the citizens that it would be a small cost. Did you say that? So yes. So Omid is a wastewater district. It charges these 800,000 through their communities, right. the 23 communities. It's in the water and sewer bills, right. this cost for this project. Everyone is paying, even though it's in right. Sterling Heights, all 800,000 are paying. So do you have any idea what percentage that would be or what what they would expect to pay? Um, I haven't done the math, but I know even the debt is included in the budget. And again, the budget, the charges only went up 2.8%. So it's well below rate of inflation. And that's a one-time increase. It'll continue, but I know the um, I know the county has a lot of money stored um, for situations and reasons. I mean, it's been brought to our board every year. Um, so I've, I don't think there's a problem. But is it a, is Macomb County set to if there was a financial problem crisis? Would Macomb County be able to? pay that money well both counties are doing it macomb and oakland would backstop it the treasurer i mean if if a community did not pay their debt service right. number one we're providing sewer services to them if it has never happened if a community totally went a wall and said we're not paying this debt there are legal avenues that the county treasurer could take liens lawsuits all of that and at the end of the day, they're only hurting their themselves, and we control their sewer flow. So, <laughs> I understand. talking about smell. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I understand. I just wanted to point that out. That you know, what if Indy Oakland had this? Yeah, the good thing is it's not based on the economy. It's not based on con house construction or anything like that. It's people's normal water and sewer bills, and it's already factored into their rates. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Commissioner. No other speakers? Please vote. Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Item six, uh, Public Service Committee Correspondence, Macomb County Department of Roads update. Motion to receive and file. So moved, Nard. Support. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed, ayes have it. At this time, I get great pleasure to turn this meeting over to a Government <laughs> Oversight Committee. I imagine it does give you great pleasure. First item is item eight, appointment interviews, civic civil service commission, executive appointment board concurrence, one vacancy partial term to expire on December 31st, 2026. Patrick Masseroni. I there he is. I'm here. Oh, so that was you on the elevator hiding behind us. I need a motion to refer this <laughs> so to the board. I have motion support. It's all yours. Well, thank you, Commissioner. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, just a little bit about myself. A lifelong resident of Macomb County. Worked at the Sheriff's Office for over 28 years. Retiring uh, just about a year ago to the date. Worked uh, many different assignments here. When I did retire as a Signed a midnight shift to road patrol supervisor. And I enjoyed my time at the sheriff's office, enjoyed uh, serving the residents of Macomb County. Would appreciate the opportunity to continue to do so on the uh, Civil Service Commission. And especially uh, filling this vacancy left by Dave Daniels, who I knew quite well. And uh, I considered him a mentor and a friend of mine at the sheriff's office. So I uh, Appreciate your time and consideration. Any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. And if not, uh, again, thank you. Thank you. Seeing no speakers, please vote. Aye. 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 Opposed? It's been referred to full board. Thank you, Pat. Thank you. Nice seeing you. Nice seeing you. Next item is an ethics board executive appointment with board concurrence, one vacancy, remainder of five-year term to expire on January 31st, 2026, Karen Smith. Karen was going to attend but has become ill and has advised the uh, board.
board that she will not be in attendance, so I need a motion to refer her to full board. So moved um, by Nard. Support. Motion by Commissioner Nard, supported by Commissioner Van Sickle. <coughs> Seeing no discussion, please vote. Aye. 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 Any opposed? Passed. Next item is Older Adult Advisory Committee Board Chair, board chair Appointment. One vacancy, remainder of two-year term, beginning April 18, 2024 through December 31st, 2025. It's an at-large appointment. The nominee is Catherine Rabino. She will not be attending today. I need a motion Senator, to refer like that to, to the full the board. Make the vote motion, please. Support. I have a motion by Commissioner Zinner, supported by Commissioner Nard. Seeing no speakers, please vote. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carries. Next item is ordinances. This is for discussion only. Is the draft ordinance to amend in their entirety previously adopted comprehensive contracting purchasing policies and procedure ordinances and associate resolutions and to provide penalties and consequences for violation. So this is a motion to receive, motion to receive the file. file. Support. Support. I have a motion by Commissioner Romano supported by Commissioner Van Sickle. Before we begin the discussion, I'll turn the floor over to Chair Brown. Yeah, thank you. Um, this ordinance has been, been over the years, there's been issues that have arisen that required consideration by the board to um, tighten up the ordinance in, in certain sections. Um, it's been done over a long, over a period of years in consultation with uh, the executive's office and there's, there's still some disagreement over the exact language. The goal of the ordinance is to have our county operate efficiently and smoothly and uh, make sure that everyone has transparency in place as we go forward. And um, so there's a, there's a lot here. There's been a small work group that's looked at it and put together the outline, this draft that's before you today. And uh, encourage you all um, to review it if you hadn't reviewed it. There's a lot here. We're also sending some supplemental information to you, some notes from the committee that uh, will be helpful to you too as you review this and uh, uh, consider this going forward. Again, it's for review discussion today. And um, so uh, set the table there. But we want to work, it's been a cooperative effort, trying to work cooperatively so we get a win-win agreement for everybody to use because it's all of our place, right? It's all of our houses. This is our business. We want to make sure it runs smoothly. And uh, so we need cooperation from everyone on this and want to work harmoniously with all parties involved. So, so that's it, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Commissioner Wallace. Thank you, Chair. Um, I completely agree with uh, what Chair Brown said. Um, I think that it is very imperative that we do look at the differences that were made. Um, and one thing that he said that was brought up in the meetings over and over is transparency. I think that it is important um, to be more transparent as our communities come to us and ask us these questions. You know, we want to be as open as possible. And this is one way that we are taking that step forward. So I hope that you guys will look through it and, uh, you know, let's discuss. Thank you. Commissioner Romano. Thank you, Chair. Uh, I had an occasion to, to start reading the changes in some of the ordinances, but I couldn't, I had to keep going back to see what the original was, what the old one was, what the new one was. Maybe we can get something that can show us just what has been exactly changed, what was the old ordinance says, what the new ordinance says, and I have a question if I can direct it to yourself or to Board Chair Brown. Who, who revised this ordinance? And has it been sent to our corporate attorneys to look at? Two questions, I guess. Go ahead. Point of order. Yeah. Sure, yeah. There's there's one red line, so that one would have to. That's exactly what you asked for. And changes. This is the original, and this is the one with the draft change. Yes. You both did. So if you want to know what's changed, it's all those red I have stuff. both <laughs> on here. Both yeah. No, I have both on here. I was looking for something a little more simplified. We'll, we'll, we'll try to get you something, Commissioner, on that. We'll make sure that you got that. It's also, um, the attorneys have looked at it. Our attorneys looked at it. And so it's been 
It's been reviewed. Many eyes have been looking at it, and um, um, we're not quite there yet, but we're getting close. Thank you. That's all I have, Chair. Thank you. Any other speakers? Seeing none, I would encourage all to look at this so we can put it back on the agenda and get it moving forward. This has been, uh, what, a year's process at this point? Yeah. Um, and I want to thank all those that were involved in the committee with the discussion <coughs> that has taken place. Uh, we always didn't agree, but we... <laughs> the Antoinette's going north and south. Um, but we did try to do what was best for the county. Uh, there's still disagreements in here. I will agree with that. And But it's our document, so we need to look at it and make sure it does what we want it to do. Okay, I will move on call to... You want to talk? We call the vote. Call the vote. Aye. 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 <laughs> Any nays? One nay. Oh, oh goody. Okay, we will move on to <coughs> resolutions. Item 10. Resolution 2024-28, a resolution establishing the Tri-County Behavioral Task Force. Chair Brown, I need a motion to refer to full board. So moved by Nard. Support Wallace. I have a motion by Commissioner Nard, supported by Commissioner Wallace. Chair Brown, would you like to speak to this? Um, the resolution speaks for itself. It's followed up from the Tri-County Summit of Intentions to, to move forward and, and with the three counties on, on this area. And, um, looking forward to uh, continuing the dialogue on it. Thank you. Seeing no speakers, all in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Has been passed. Next one is proclamations. I will accept a motion to refer all of them to full board and then read them individually. So moved. Support. Motion by Commissioner Nard, supported by Commissioner Van Sickle. <coughs> First is a proclamation recognizing April 28, 2024 as Workers Memorial Day, Commissioner Lacito. Proclamation declaring the month of May to be Mental Health Awareness Month. Commissioner Kraft and Commissioner Wallace. Proclamation in memory of former Commissioner Marv Sauger for outstanding public service. Commissioner Romano, myself, and Chair Brown. Proclamation congratulating the Lincoln High School basketball team for winning the 2024 state championship. Commissioner Nard, a proclamation commending Blake John for achieving the status of Eagle Scout and the Boy Scouts of America, Commissioner Grott. Proclamation congratulating Dylan Hardin for winning the Division I Individual State Bowling Championship, Commissioner Grott. Proclamation congratulating Sam Angelio for earning runner-up in the state wrestling finals, Commissioner Grott. Here from Commissioner Grant. Proclamation <laughs> congratulating the Eisenhower girls wrestling team for being the first in school history to qualify for the state finals. We have a motion support. Please vote. Aye. 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 Opposed? They all pass. Good luck in delivering all of those. Commissioner, I would like to be added Resolution D, my name on there, regarding Marb Song. Excuse me? I, I do. Oh. Um, I was just asking to have my name added. I know Commissioner Lucido is not here, but um, wanted to have, oh, how does that turn on? Um, wanted to have my name added to the uh, A, uh, Workers Memorial Day Proclamation. Without objection? Did I have any other speakers? Commissioner Sabatini. I just would like to be also uh, added to uh, Commissioner Sauger's resolution as well. Without any objection. Without objection. Any other speakers? Nothing's coming up here. Over here. Uh, Commissioner Kraft. Thank you, Chair. I'd also like to be added to Commissioner Sauger's. Without objection. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Van Sickle. I would also like to be added to Proclamation A. 
without objection. Uh, I would like to be added to Proclamation A. We put that on the agenda at the last minute. Um, Commissioner Nair would like to be added to Commissioner what? On behalf of the Board a. of Commissioners at the bottom it says. Yes. Oh, he says it. Yes. Okay. So we can. Any other put discussion? Seeing none, did we vote? Yes. 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 Okay. So we've got all of these going to the full board. Next is uh, public participation. This is the opportunity for the public to participate for a maximum of three minutes on any issue. Anyone from the public wish to speak? Not you, Pat. You're done. <laughs> Good. <you>. Okay. <laughs> Looks a lot more relaxed. <laughs> Go, going once, <coughs> twice, gone. Next item is commissioner's comments. I'm going to take liberty here. There is a social media post by Commissioner Wallace that I think we all ought to take a look at. Uh, she's trying to do something for the track team. Oh, yay. Thank you so much, You're so welcome. I'll probably get an ethics violation for that, but okay. <laughs> Can't speak about your job in public. Yeah, it's not my job. Any, anyone else on Commissioner's comments? The current item didn't set, so if anyone hit the button, it might not have worked. If anyone hits the button, it hasn't. It's working? It is not. It is not. So they don't have to raise their hand. I know. Halfway through this, it switched. It froze up. And we're getting our new system <laughs> when? You got that on there? Look at mine. I thought this was mine a new works. system. Oh, occasionally. Well, okay, you want to talk? I just put it on to prove it works. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the point. Happy to help. <laughs> okay. Uh, no other commissioners' comments? Oh, brother. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to make a comment. Uh, um, I spoke with uh, some people from the from a temple that's on Nine Mile, and uh, apparently they've been getting some uh, hate uh, crimes going on. They got attacked, and people have uh, robbed the temple. I'll be talking with them a little more. And I just wanted to kind of ask, didn't, didn't we approve something with uh, uh, Prosecutor Lacido for hate crimes? Because I don't know exactly where to direct them, and I, I, it was Pete Lacito. So should I just direct them to Pete Lacito's office? He's got a hate crimes unit, right? Hate, okay, all right. That's what I wanted to know. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Zinner. Oh, thank you so much. Um, in regard to the older adults, I never get the letters right. Advisory committee. Uh, thank you, advisory committee. Um, we. Um, there's a new member, Tom, who is very active. He's a very active person. He's been active in the North, especially. And he's full of energy and new ideas, and he's kind of a spark. Um, but he, he is very innovative. And um, he's been um, doing um, some media things about uh, the group in the North of our county. and. Um, Somebody from there wanted to contact a commissioner and wasn't sure who to contact after listening to him and contacted myself listening about your committee and um, called the board here and he said, no, I don't want to talk to anybody else. I'm going to talk to the chair of that committee. And because of Tom's being out in the public like that, um, communicated a concern that she had. And um, I then, of course, spoke to the chair about it because that was his area. And it was just, it was good that, I mean, I know we all get calls and we get emails from people in our communities and also sometimes from outside of our communities. That's all good. And I just thought that it was nice that um, one of our people had gone that far as he did so that someone had someone that they felt they could contact. And our, of course, our staff are so wonderful. They didn't, you know, they're just really great to everybody. So they said, sure, we'll give you to a commissioner. And, and you know, I called this person back. And it just worked out nice. And it's just who we are, reaching out to people. And, and I, was, I was very happy that he had done that and that our people go out into the public the way they do. And um, we do that, too, of course. And it was nice and good. And, Story. Great. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for that nice story, Barb. 
Commissioner Van Sickle. Thank you. Uh, next month, we're gonna have a community bike ride in Delia Park, which is in Sterling Heights on the north side of 18 Mile Road, just west of Ryan. And get your bike out and get practicing. <laughs> oh boy. Good. You don't have to ride your bike over to the park, but once you get there, ride your bike in the park. It's about a two mile flat, flat ride from uh, Delia Park up to the um, Sterling Heights Corwell Health building parking lot near DeQuinder and 59. So it's about two miles up and two miles back. And if you're not up to a four mile ride, just ride half of it. That'll be work out real. So anyway, it looks like it's gonna be a good time. And um, if there's information in the newsletter about it, and in two months we'll do one in Shelby Township. But anyway, focus on the one right now. Get your bike out. I don't wanna hear any excuses. <laughs> well, right. Good luck with right. that. Thank you. <laughs> Electric bike going. You mean all your excuses? <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Right. Yeah, for sure. Right. Okay. Are you done? I'm buddy? done. Thank you, Commissioner. <laughs> Chair Brown on second round. Yes, that's the first oh. round you had to show me at work. That's right. Well, Commissioner Zinner mentioned the the older adults advisory committee. There was a vacancy, and there was a hole in coverage in St. Clair Shores that that the committee brought forward and they voiced their concerns about we don't have anyone. Well, we do have a chair, as a chair, I've got an ability to appoint an out-large person. So I appointed the, um, a person that comes out of the St. Clair Shores um, Senior Citizen Group. Very sharp woman, very on it, been really doing really active work on that. And she's the one that will be appointed today. We're going to appoint it to full board meeting. But I have chose her because of the input I heard from the members of the committee about the fact that St. Clair Shores there's a hole in coverage down there in the south end. So I chose her to do that as a result from recommenders from the chair of uh, Mr. Zinner Center to me and uh, just outstanding individuals can do really well. And uh, that committee's really taken, really showing some life and really doing a lot more activity and I'm glad to see it. And it's, they do us all well because they're actually, they're our ambassadors. So I encourage you to hook up with them if you can and uh, it bodes well for all of us that they're getting information to us. So we'll keep on going. So thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Seeing no other speakers, we will move on to the next item. That's closed session to discuss Macomb County Circuit Court case number 23-004345-CC. Molly, how do you say your last name, Molly? Zabatel. Zabatel. All others clear the room. So I need a motion to go into motion closed session. Motion to go session. into closed session. Support. Support. Have a motion by Sylvia yeah. Grant, yeah. supported yeah. by Don Van Sickle. Yeah. We have to do a roll call vote first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Grote. Yes. Ha. Yes. Kraft. Lucido is here. Perna. Yes. Nard. Nard. Michelle. Commissioner Nard, Nard to yes. go into closed session. Um, yes. Romano. Yes. Sabatini. Van Sickle. Yes. Song. Zinner? Yes. And Chair Brown. Are we good? Okay. Don, you voting to go into closed session? No. Hey, Brown. Sylvia, get done to vote. Close right. the door. Right. I abstain. <laughs> okay, Mr. Pesci. Paul is going to vote. <laughs> you have to vote to go into closed session. Did I? What? Did you hear me? I said I. Well, not, yes, no, we can hear you. Okay. <laughs> First off, is that everybody? They wanted you to come if you could. Okay, we are now officially. Exit in closed session. Next item is Department Recommendation and Settlement Agreement, Macomb County Circuit Court Case Number Two Three Zero Zero Four Three Four Five. Dash CC. Motions in order. Motion to approve settlement. Support. I have a motion by Commissioner Romano, supported by Commissioner Van Sickle. Any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, please vote. Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next item is motion, motion to, to adjourn. adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Motion. The board center. Mo 
Yeah, I call it motion. I think by we should have further discussion on that. Hired, supported by Commissioner Zinner. Please vote. Aye. 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 No. I'm, I'm going to pull Bob King. <laughs> we are adjourned.